All right, we're back. And if you remember from last time, assuming you watched the episode, we were looking at some collision responses on our Axis Align bounding box. We made our player jump and we started looking at if we could determine exactly where that collision occurred. We figured out we can determine that and we were doing that as we left last time. And if you remember, we, uh, we looked at this, so we were printing collision.bottom. We had a thing in Udals that did all this stuff. <sighs> but, oh, I'm not sure I like this. I don't know that I want this in here. So let's take it out. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Let's put our collision stuff in rect. But what I want to do is have a function for each side that says, uh, we'll do right or um, collide, collides right. How about that? And we'll do. Let's call it the bounds point because what I want I was just sitting here thinking you know I could wrap this up and just give the point here which would be that vector to that zero uh, that we had here right here closest point on bounds and remember we were with well, the way our Minowski difference worked out that was um, at the origin so we could use our, our separation vector would be relative to the origin, which would be zero, zero. But I think I'm gonna use this and we'll just pass this in. That kind of makes it, that kind of makes it nice. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna paste this back in, but I wanna, I wanna grab this little piece of comment right here because I like this comment. So given a bounds point obtained from rec dot closest point on bounds, so that explains where this needs to come from. This returns true if a collision occurred on the, the right side of the rectangle. Okay, so all we need to do then is this, that right there. See, all we need to do is return that, return. Balance point dot x is less than zero, and that will tell us if we collided with the right side. Similarly, we can do that with the left. You see, a lot of this code is about just cut and paste, right? Because you, you write it once, and then you just sort of repeat it, right? Well, anyway, there's that dry principle which says don't repeat yourself, but you do find that sometimes you kind of have to here. And in this case, uh, a lot of the errors happen whenever you're doing this cut and paste. Um, bottom. Uh, this is top. And then we want to make sure that's all correct. So if y is less than zero, then we're bottom. So I'm just going to do this bottom <laughs> rather than changing it. I, yeah, I could change it, but I'm not going to. So we've got that. So we don't need these items because we're really checking. We want to know explicitly whether they, whether it's left, right, bottom, or top uh, using this, this bounds point. So the way we can now do that is here. Um, and this is gone, right? So we can print bottom. And then we'll just do this and we'll say, uh, Uh, our our Minowski difference, and we'll say uh, uh, let's say collides bottom, and we'll give it that bounds point that we just 
right? I'll run it, make sure that I haven't messed something up. And I did attempt to catenate a bull and add a boolean value. We need a two is that how that works? Two string, I believe. Let's bring it back over here. Say which one? I do. Did I do that wrong? Oh no, I know why. Because it's not um if I jump all the way on it. Attempt to index a Boolean value. Oh we could do it differently. We just do this. I know. We're just gonna do it like this. So if that then end. Let's check this. Drag this over. We'll try to jump on his head again, and we'll see that we get bottom. That's what we want. That's really what we want. And likewise, I can do that for top, left, right. And yes, we could do all these at once, but it's really not going to make that much difference. Let me bring the window over so we'll have his right. And let me do this. Let's uncomment this out so that we can do a little test for our top and bottom because we got to make sure this works. There's our right, there's our top, there's our left. You see, I tried to. It's a, you can't really get any kind of. I think typically with the axis align bounding box, you're going to get one or the other. I don't know that you're going to get both unless you can get it, get a point. You probably can. You can get a point in there rather than just moving him like we're moving him. But in any case, this will work nicely for what we want. So now I'm going to comment that out. Um, we will. Stop, stop, stop. We will do this. Remove that. <sighs> Except that we don't want to remove the bottom. Because we're going to tell the player that he has collided with something. So let's give the player... This will allow us to do what we want to do. Let's give the player a function. Function e uh, collide collided We could have this be a uh, yes, let's just do that. Collided. And we'll say top, bottom, left. Right, and, and then we'll say if bottom, then so we're these are going to be booleans. So this function responds to a collision event on any of the. Given sides of the player's collision rectangle. Okay, so let's say top, bottom, left, right are all Boolean values. Right, so if bottom, then we're going to do we're going to do this. Except for that middle part here. So we're going to jump out of it. See? Now, the, the requirement here is going to be this. We're going to have to do that here. So we will have to say player, which is self.p. Collided. Too many 
collided and it's going to be what top bottom need Um, and so we'll have top here, top, bottom, left, and right. So we'll add another comment here. Remove this. We'll say, tell the player that he has a collision on, and tell the player which which side it has a on which side it has a collision ah so now let's see what happens ah very good okay so if we jump on him it should stop hmm player Lua 138 collided right here collided VX. Oh. No, no, no. That's all good. That should be fine. But we're saying attempt to index a. Oh, did we? We did. See that? That's another colon problem. That's a colon problem. You get those when you get older. There we go. Well, we, we jumped right on top of this fella. Jumped right on top of him. Now what we could do is make another rectangle. And we could... Um, uh, we don't... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think we'll just leave it at this for now. So we have now a collision detection capability that will let us tell which direction, at least which direction in our collision rectangle, we have a collision, which is very helpful. And our little player can jump to his heart's content. I think the next time we'll look at adding... We may move this all to, I think we will, we'll move this to a new scene, I believe, and we will have things come at the player, and maybe maybe the player has to, has to punch those things and destroy them. Yeah. All right. Until next time, we'll see you.